people have to live in, in unity. We are still in transition. Civil society has been decimated. Of course we rely on media. And I think the government has not done enough. The international community has failed to respond. No place in the world is perfect. Hello viewers, I'm your host Uzma Jafri with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show. India has launched massive rescue and rehabilitation operation after its western states hit by tropical cyclone Taute, a storm with wind speeds equivalent to a high-end category 3 hurricane that formed in the Arabian Sea. The storm damaged infrastructure and agriculture along with western coast. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi took an aerial survey of Cyclone Taute affected areas of Gujarat, the western state, severely hit by the devastating storm. He announced financial assistance of US dollar 136 million for immediate relief activities. Prime Minister Modi also chaired a meeting to review the relief and rehabilitation measures being undertaken in the cyclone hit areas. Cyclone Taute hit the western parts of India on May 17 with maximum sustained winds of 205 km per hour. Photos and videos show highways turned into rivers by the heavy rain and trees in power lines toppled by ferocious winds. India's National Disaster Response Force, that is NDRF, deployed more than 100 teams across six coastal states to help efforts on the ground. Authorities moved people living in the low-lying and coastal areas to safer places as the cyclone affected the coastal states of Gujarat, Kerala, Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra. यहां पर तोकते साइक्लोन की तरह से हवामान विभाग की तरह से हमको आगाही मिली तो हमने तुरंत मेरे पास दो गांव है ओंजल और ओंजल माछीवाड़ा ओंजल दोनों गांवों को मिलाकर 110 लोगों को कच्चे मकान घर से पक्के घर में ट्रांसफर सुरक्षित किया गया है the storm also smashed into the Bombay High oil field near Mumbai city, where India's biggest offshore oil rigs are located, and sank the barge that had 261 personnel on board. Indian Navy carried out rescue operations off Mumbai coast and brought back 185 people off the barge P-305. The barge was engaged in contract work awarded by Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, India's top exploration company. The rescue operations are still underway with Indian Navy's ships and aircraft scouring waters off the financial capital Mumbai for many other workers missing from a barge that sank after a powerful cyclone. If you say, my opinion, पापा 305 के 185 लोग रेस्क्यू हो चुके हैं अभी की अगर हम फिलहाल बात करें और दो और जो हैं एक वराप्रधा दूसरी है आपको यह भी जान ये जो आपको जान करके खुशी होगी कि हमारे शिप्स ने हमारे कमांड ने हम लोगों ने मिलकर के ऐसा कोऑर्डिनेट किया एंड वी हैव बीन एबल टू एवर्ट अनदर अबाउट 300 मोर लाइव्स एट सी दैट मींस देयर वर टू अदर वेसल्स व्हिच वर अंडर डिस्ट्रेस एंड दे वर अबाउट टू अबैंडन द शिप एंड वी कुड गिव देम अश्योरेंसेस दैट यू प्लीज do not abandon the ship and we are here to support you. We were there in the vicinity or is madhyam se hum log jaan hum baja sake. Bohut bohut brahne baad woh log ko. Woh log ke liye to aaj jam jinda hai nahi to. Poi nahi basta. Aapke baaki saathiyon ki istiti ke baare mein bata paayenge kuch to abhi. Boha hamara jaisa hai istiti hai sab ka. Chale diga abhiyan. The influence of Cyclone Taute was also witnessed in neighboring Pakistan. A powerful dust storm followed by rain hit parts of its Karachi city. At least three people were reportedly killed in roof collapse incidents when strong winds triggered by the dust storm slammed into the city. Residents, however, welcomed the change in weather conditions after a severe heat spell that had gripped the city for two days. दो दिन गर्मी के बाद अल्लाह ताला ने अपनी रहमत बरसाई है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि अल्लाह ताला बाद ऐसा ही मौसम रखे 
क्योंकि शदीद गर्मी हम कराची वाले बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकते हीट स्टॉक वगैरह और दो दिन पहले जो गर्मी पड़ी है जिसकी वजह से आवाम बहुत परेशान रही है और ये देखें बारिश का समा है बिल्कुल और बहुत मज़ा आ रहा है और ऐसे ही मौसम चलता रहे The monsoon season in the region has gotten more intense over the years as climate change has made weather more extreme and unpredictable. Let's move to Nepal, the Himalayan nation which is under the grip of intense coronavirus pandemic. After confirming two variants of coronavirus, a new variant has been detected in the country which is found to be deadly. Since Nepal is so short of oxygen canisters, it has asked climbers on Mount Everest to bring back their empties instead of abandoning them on mountain slopes. A report. The hospitals in capital Kathmandu are packed, so packed that in many cases, two patients share one bed. As a second COVID-19 wave overwhelms the country's health infrastructure. Health experts and frontline medical workers have described the situation as near apocalyptic as they face shortages of hospital beds and oxygen. The rising number of cases in the country has set alarm bells ringing. The shortage of beds is a common problem across Nepal, which has approximately 18,900 generals, 1,450 ICU and 630 ventilator beds across the country. Nepal's number of doctors per capita is only one of the lowest in the world with 0.17 doctors per 1000 people while India has 1.34 doctors per 1000 population. The Nepal Mountaineering Association has asked climbers on Mount Everest to bring back their empty tanks to be refilled for medical usage instead of abandoning them on mountain slopes. Expedition ma jun sapai क्लाइम्बर्स बेसकैम तीर जहाँसंग निष्फिक्री जो सिलिंडर भाई हमें प्रत्येक ओनर रपरेटर हमें पूरा कर सकता एक्सपिडिशन प्रसाद यह चीज लयोग में आयो तमें सहयोग कर The country issued climbing permits to more than 700 climbers for 16 Himalayan peaks, 408 to Mount Everest for the April May climbing season in a bid to get mountaineering industry and tourism back up and running. Oxygen tanks often get buried in avalanches or are abandoned on the mountain slopes at the end of the expedition. Our government and city and our public they have a lot of uh, coronavirus sickness so they have a problem for oxygen our heart that we have around uh, seven summit tracks have around 1000 bottle so we can uh, we can when the empty cylinder is come here we can provide this cylinder to our government and government will be make a refill for medical oxygen Nepal a poor country of 30 millions has vaccinated barely 2 million people mainly frontline workers since it started inoculation on January 27 so far the country has procured more than 3 million vaccines including 8 lakh doses from china and 3 lakh 48000 doses from the who led covax facility india also donated about a million doses of astrazeneca vaccine to nepal and has promised to supply vaccines into the himalayan nation in near future moving on India continues to battle against the coronavirus as the government medical experts and community members are working tirelessly to flatten the curve although the country is hit by a huge second coronavirus wave its government has said the pandemic is showing signs of slowing down in some regions let's take a look India's launch of 2 deoxy d glucose a new anti covid drug brings new ray of hope The drug jointly developed by State Run Defence Research and Development Organisation that is DRDO and Dr Reddy's Laboratories Limited has been approved for emergency use. Clinical trials showed it aided the recovery of hospitalized coronavirus patients and reduced dependence on supplemental oxygen. Aur yeh drug jisse ye ijaad hua hai ye aasha aur ummeed ki ek nayi kiran lekar aaya hai. यानी हमारे देश के सामने एक बड़ा से बड़ा चैलेंज आए 
तो हमारे वैज्ञानिकों के अंदर बस क्षमता है बस ताकत है कि उसका मुकाबला वह कर सकते हैं और जो यह ड्रग का इजाद किया गया है मैं समझता हूं कि हमारे देश के वैज्ञानिकों की एक जो साइंटिफिक कैपेबिलिटी है उसकी भी एक मिसाल है With more than 24 million cases and 270,000 deaths, India is now the epicenter of the global pandemic. Though the official count shows new infections subsiding, there are fears that the new highly infectious B.1.617 variant is running out of control. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said continuous efforts were being made to increase the supply of COVID-19 vaccines on a large scale across the country. Corona ke tikke ki supply ko bahut bade star par badhane ke nirantar prayas kiye ja rahe hain. Vaccination ke lekar vyavasthaon aur prakriyaon ko हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री लगातार स्ट्रीमलाइन कर रही है कोशिश ये है कि अगले 15 दिन का शेड्यूल राज्यों को एडवांस में मिल जाए इंडिया ऑल्सो बिगैन अ पायलट प्रोग्राम फॉर रशिया स्प्यूतनिक वी कोविड 19 वैक्सीन ऑन मे 17 टू वर्क आउट सप्लाई चेन एंड लॉजिस्टिकल नीड्स फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अक्रॉस द नेशन Sputnik V is a two-dose shot that has been found to be 91.6% effective in preventing people from developing coronavirus, a higher efficacy rate than the two vaccines currently approved in India. India received 60,000 doses of Sputnik V from Russia as part of its second consignment of the vaccine. We are uh, running the pilot with a few people. By doing so, we will be able to establish the integrity of the supply chain. We will be able to see how the cold chain works. We will be able to see how the logistics work. And by doing this, we will be able to make sure that we have enough learning so that we can scale it up across the country. Besides government efforts, the people are also joining hands to help the needy. Indian chef and philanthropist Sanjeev Kapoor joined hands with an initiative which provides free lip smacking delicacies to healthcare staff of various hospitals across cities. Kapoor in coordination with luxury hotels chain Taj and a social welfare group World Central Kitchen is providing about 17000 meals daily to hospitals in over a half a dozen cities across the country. काफ़ी सिटीज़ के अंदर अब करीब 17,000 से ज़्यादा डेली मील्स सप्लाई किए जा रहे हैं फ्री एकदम जिसमें डॉक्टर्स हैं नर्सेज हैं वार्ड बॉयज़ हैं क्लीनर्स हैं उन सब को खाना दिया जा रहा है आइडिया ये है कि क्योंकि इस समय जो हमारी मेडिकल फ्रटर्निटी है वो काफ़ी स्ट्रेस्ड है और उनको मोटिवेट करने के लिए खाने के माध्यम से हम मोटिवेट करना चाहते हैं ऐसा नहीं कि वो पहले से खाना उनको नहीं मिलता था लेकिन खाने से थोड़ी सी मुस्कुराहट आ सके As India's COVID-19 crisis continues to overwhelm the country's healthcare system, informal groups of volunteers have sprung up working to locate care beds, critical stocks and volunteering as ambulance drivers. Brothers Murtaza Junaid and Mutib Zohab are part of a growing number of informal volunteers and volunteer groups across India. The pair responds to hundreds of calls every week from transferring patients to picking up dead bodies. Volunteers like them are particularly cropping up in smaller towns as the pandemic death toll spreads beyond urban centers. And now in our section of Asia this week the stories from across the continent that made news this week Singapore has authorized the use of Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine for those aged 12 to 15 years old in a bid to extend protection to more groups as the country tackles a recent increase of infections The health ministry said data show the vaccine for younger people demonstrated high efficacy consistent with that observed in the adult population adding its safety profile was also consistent with that of the adult population Close to 2 millions of Singapore's 5.7 million people have received at least one dose 
About 1.4 million recipients have completed the full two-dose regimen. The move comes as the country tackles a recent increase in infections after months with relatively few community cases. The city-state has been using the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines and have taken delivery of 200,000 doses of China's Sinovac vaccine, which has yet to be granted emergency use authorization. North Korea's 13-year-old student Im In Jong developed a disinfection robot that can roll around school and spray disinfectant. In the video provided by North Korea's official news agency KCNA, a square box robot was seen moving around the school hallway and spraying disinfectant with five holes or nozzles on the device. The footage showed the robot saying disinfection completed after students receive automated hand sanitizer dispenser from the machine. KCNA said AIM has read science magazines for two years and used electron circuit simulation program to make the robot, which can also avoid obstacles. The term Kamon refers to a crest used in Japan for centuries to indicate one's origins. They take inspiration from a plant or geometric shape. In the samurai era, kamon was used to distinguish between friends and enemies during battle. It gradually became a cultural component that preserves the history of Japanese families and expresses their ancient roots. The samurai armor and the fearsome helmet evoke fear in the heart of the enemy, but they also conceal their face so it made easier for them to distinguish between friend and enemy during the battle. Thus, since the 10th century in Japan, the use of family crests that distinguishes the prince and samurai family, known in Japanese as kamon, emblem on the helmet shield, sword and even personal items were used. It was also painted during the battles on the war flag known as hata. During the Edo period, the use of kamon spread among the commoners as well. In Japan, about 50% of these kamons can still be spotted in an old district in Tokyo. However, they no longer refer to family of a prize or a warrior, but rather to the owner of a restaurant or shop.現在Kamon design is usually inspired by geometric shape or a plant that is known to rapidly grow and spread, indicating the power and strength of the family and optimism for their expansion and survival for long generations. Many families are keen to weave kamon on traditional clothes worn on important occasions. Kamon is a symbol that represents the deep roots of the Japanese family and tells part of its history. That is why many Japanese people consider it an important component of their culture and are keen to continue using it. This Japanese word is called katana. It is a traditional sword with an elaborate blade, an ornament or detail most of its parts are handmade. This word is weapon which was used in samurai war years ago. These craftsmen have been making katana for the last 22 years after getting trained from a sword craft master. The blade of the sword extends to the stage and the hot iron is hammered. It takes almost three months to make one of these words. あの、技術 
その美術的価値が認められているというのは世界で唯一の,あの武器だと思いますそういった形でものすごく希少性があるということが一つだと思いますその日本の鉄というのはものすごく高いんですよねその完成品としてできたものというものはまあ、ものによってですけれども美術性の高いもの評価されたものというものは国宝級でやはり億という値段がつきますおそらく世界をどこ見てもそれだけの値段つく武器はないと思います This shop in Tokyo sells Japanese wood These craftsmen have permission from the government to make traditional Japanese woods The Japanese sword is made by highly skilled craftsmen which is being reflected to its high artistic value. The spirit of traditional Japanese manufacturing is admired by the world. A large number of political activists from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir POK who are living abroad are being named as traitors by Islamabad. The activists have been demanding Pakistan to vacate the occupied territory. Today, we meet a political activist and writer from POK who has been facing strong criticism and threats from Pakistan and its agencies. A protest outside the United Nations office in Geneva by political activists from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir is a regular phenomenon during the regular sessions of Human Rights Council. They have been raising their voice against Islamabad's brutality and oppression in POK and Gilgit Baltistan for over 70 years. In return, these political leaders and activists are being called as traitors by Pakistan for raising their concerns at international forums. Some of these activists are even threatened and not allowed to travel to their ancestral homes. Pakistan is और इस खिते पर पाकिस्तान का मकमल कंट्रोल है इसके कोई कोई शुभा जिंदगी का ऐसा नहीं जिस पर पाकिस्तान का कंट्रोल नहीं है इवन जो नेशनलिज्म है वो भी पाकिस्तानी ब्रांड नेशनलिज्म है बहुत से लोगों की मैं सब का नहीं कहूंगा बहुत से लोगों लोगों की बहुत सी जमातों की पाकिस्तानी ब्रांड ऑफ नेशनलिज्म है बल्कि उसको मैं थोड़ा सा इजाफा ये करूंगा कि ये पाकिस्तानी ब्रांड नेशनलिज्म भी नहीं कहूंगा ये मुस्लिम नेशनलिज्म है it is not jammu kashmir ki nationalism nationalism ye state nationalism ya kashmiri nationalism agar kaha jaye to ye us tarah ki nationalism nahi hai aur aam taur par ye hota hai ki jab kabud mulk hote hain wo jo yahan par jo tehreek chal rahi hoti hai to wo un tehreek ke ijtihad tanzimon ke andar apne cell qaim kar lete hain ya kuch tanzimon khud wo set up karte hain unko support karte hain sponsor karte hain unko platform mein jaya karte hain aur taaki wo unke mafadat ka tahfuz bhi kar sake Dr. Shabir Chaudhary, who hails from Mirpur in POK, has been living in London since 1966. He continues his struggle against occupation, terrorism and religious intolerance in Pakistan, occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. Dr. Shabir has been accused by Pakistan's spy agency, the ISI, as an Indian agent who has been trying to sabotage the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project as well as other activities against Pakistan. Islamabad even threatened and harassed Dr. Shabir. We say that the nationalists are agents. Who say that they are working for America, who say that they are working for India, who say that they are working for another country. So, the fact is that the people who are working for Mohibya Vatan are the जो अपने आप को किबला काबा मानते हैं इस्लामाबाद वो कहते हैं कि पाकिस्तान के साथ हमने ला करना सिर्फ वही मोहब्बी वतन है जो अपने आग के खुदरात ये इस्तेमाल करना चाहते हैं कि हमें अपने मुस्किल का फैसला खुद करना है और ये जरूरी नहीं है हमारे लिए कि हम पाकिस्तान का साथ दें और पाकिस्तान का हिस्सा बने देखिए आग के खुदरातीत की मर्जी भी ये मतलब ये होता है कि कौमों का अपनी मर्जी से इंतखा करना अपने फ्यूचर का मुस्किल का फैसला करना the people in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have been demanding freedom from Pakistani occupation as they are being treated as slaves by Islamabad. Even though POK has a president, prime minister and a council, the governing structure is powerless and dependent on the Pakistani establishment for the smallest issues. 
Despite of global criticism, Pakistan continues its nefarious agendas and doesn't seem to halt its satanic acts. With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.